Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll talk a little bit about unsigned and signed numbers, and then we'll talk about the number constructor and number function for the primitive values and for the non primitive values as well. And in the next video, we'll code and see how number function computes for a non primitive value. And after that, we'll write an algorithm to find the size of a variable. JavaScript doesn't provide size of method to see the size of a variable, so we'll write a naive code to calculate the size of a variable. JavaScript doesn't provide a size of method for a reason. Each JavaScript implementation is different. In Google Chrome, for example, the same page uses different amount of bytes for each object. Now, with the introduction away, let's dive into the topic. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay. Numbers are represented internally using base two binary digits, not decimal. Numbers are implemented as I triple seven fifty four double precision floating point number. That is, it takes sixty four bits. Let us assume that we only care about non-negative integers, as numbers are represented internally using base two. A number in JavaScript takes sixty four bits. That is, eight bytes. So two pass sixty four gives us eighteen quintillion. But eleven bits are assigned to the exponents. That is the reason we are subtracting. 64 with 11, and we get 53 bits. Now 2 power 50, 2 power 53 minus 1 gives us 9 quadrillion odd, and this is the max safe integer. Let me write it down. Max safe integer, and if we consider only negative integers, then minus 9 quadrillion is the min safe integer. I'm not going to point it out. I'm not going to write it down. I um, you get you get that you can see it. Okay, and if we care about both negative and positive integers as well, then the first bit is reserved. That is, the two pi sixty fourth bit is reserved to represent the sign of the number, and eleven bits are reserved for the exponent, leaving us with two, leaving us with fifty two bits, two pi fifty two, which give, which is in the range of minus four quadrillion to four quadrillion. Two pi fifty two minus one, two pi fifty two minus one gives us the range minus four to four quadrillion. Since we, since zero doesn't require a sign, we can add an extra number, which is generally added in the negative side. If you wish to add an extra number, then you can. And this in the negative side, this 496 becomes 497, and this uh, and and this remains the same. So this one becomes 2 power 52 minus 1 plus 1. Okay. Now with uh, what number is? Let us keep that aside and let's talk about how a number object is created. Num number object is created using the number constructor. A primitive type object number is created using the number function, but a number object is created using the number constructor. Let us create an instance of a number and assign it to a variable a. When we console the output, we get the number a, that is the object a with uh, curly braces around it, with one, two, three. To check if it belongs to the instance of Number we can use the instance of built-in method and it returns the boolean true or false. In this case, we get the result to be true because a is indeed an instance of number because we are using the new keyword and we are creating an instance and we are assigning it to the variable a. For primitive values, we use the number function directly and and we pass and in this example we pass in one two three string as a parameter to the number and. When we assign it to my number and when we log the result, we get one, two, three. But this is not an instance of number because we aren't using new keyword and we are not creating an instance. So when we check if it's an instance of a number or not, we get the result as false. It's all smooth until we start using number function with non-primitive values, that is, an object or an array. Let us create an array with a string zero. Now this is. Now this being a non-primitive num value, number ends up calling two primitive method, and two primitive method calls value of method. If the return value is not a primitive or if it's empty, the uh, value of doesn't execute and it rolls down. That is, it falls back to two string method. That is, the two primitive method, two primitive method calls the two string method, and two string method converts it to a string. In our example. In our example, in our example array, we get a uh, zero. That is, the zero array gets converted to zero, which is a string. And when this value is passed to number function again, we get the output as zero. We'll have a practical look of how this works in the next video when we code. 
the number function and the number constructor. Now, if you pass in multiple values which are of type string inside of an array, that is when you pass in an array like this, one, or one, two, three, comma, four, five, six. See, when you pass in an array and when you're assigning this value to my array, uh, what happens is that this being a type of string inside of an array, two string converts it to a string and string isn't a number. So we get the output as not a number, N-A-N. We shall code number function for primitive values and non-primitive values and also write a naive algorithm to find out the size of a variable in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next video.